Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is Andy in Singapore. If you haven't done so, I'd like to remind you to click the like and subscribe buttons because I've got new videos uploaded every week just for you. In today's video, we're going to do a full review of the Citizen Stiletto that I unboxed a couple of weeks back. And reference number for this watch is Stiletto AR3070. The Stiletto models have been around for a while. I think they were first launched way back in 2010. And they've got a few signature pieces, namely the AR3010, which is a really cool looking watch. And this one here, the AR3070, it came out sometime in 2018. There were a few colorways. And the main point, the main selling point of this watch is that it is ultra slim. All right, so let's take a look at the side profile over here. Right, it is very thin, coming in at only 4.8 millimeters. All right, so official specs have listed this to be 4.7 millimeters, but I measured with my calipers, it came in at 4.8 millimeters. And for comparison purpose, I brought in my Seiko Quartz here. This is the SGG A61, I think, the reference number. So I normally call this series of watches the Uncle Seiko watches because they look like something that uncle would wear <laughs> so let's do a comparison in terms of their thickness okay so for a quartz watch the seiko here on my right is 8.2 millimeters and that's already considered quite thin all right any watch any quartz watch that comes in at under 10 millimeters we will consider that as a thin watch but the stiletto on my left here really beats it by going under five millimeters thickness and i've also got Yet another very thin watch with me in the studio today. This is the Nomos 35, Nomos Tangent 35 millimeters. It's got a thickness or thinness of 6.7 millimeters. Again, compared to the Citizen here, it does feel like it is a lot thicker, all right? So this one here again, at under five millimeters, it really comes in as a marvel, okay? So pretty amazing that Citizen can make something so thin. And what's more, it's got an equal drive movement here is a quartz movement and it's powered by solar energy and to be honest with you this watch wasn't on my radar it's not like one of those purchases where you know this watch has been there you research you read about it and you fell in love with it i came across this one and i thought why not you know at this price at this kind of thinness okay i thought i'll give it a try and so far i think the impressions have been generally good okay so this one here typically goes for around the 200 dollars 200 singapore dollars mark you can definitely get this one off the vendors at Lazada for around 200 to 210 Singapore dollars. Mm -hmm. At 32 grams, this watch here is almost weightless. So I thought I'll give it a try. Of course, this is not as thin or as high end as the Piaget Ultra Thin Altiplano watches. But I think at this price point, it is always worth a try. And now with the lens zoom in just a little bit, let's run through some of the key specs of the Citizen Stiletto AR3070, right? It's got a K size of 38.4 millimeters excluding this tiny little crown here of course the thinness here today we are talking about is only 4.8 millimeters so again for comparison purpose i'm just going to bring in two one dollar coin and i'm just going to show you all right this is actually thinner than two one dollar coins stacked together okay i think it's pretty amazing the watch here also has a really short L to L distance, it comes in at 43.5 millimeters. The lugs here are really short. You can see that there's almost no clearance, little to no clearance between the strap end here and the case. It's also got a very weird lug size of 21 millimeters. Okay, so I don't really understand why uh, it has to be 21. All right, watch on this size, I think 20 should be the max that it should go. The dial size here is 32 millimeters. Empowering the stiletto is the Citizen. Eco drive movement, which is a solar quartz. The caliber number here is G87 and it's got a six month power reserve when fully charged. So, again, one of those watches where you can, you know, wear it once and put it back to the watch case and then three months later pick it up again. You don't have to do any more time setting or adjustment. And this watch here also suffers in terms of water resistance because, due to the extreme ultra thinness of this watch, they had to do with the screw down case back. So this one here is a screw in case back, held in, held down by four screws here, and thereby giving this watch only 30 meters of water resistance. Which is not a problem because for this style here, we are definitely looking at a dressier, 
style here so you don't really need 200 or 500 meters water resistance and now let's spend some time to talk about the case design and build quality of the citizen stiletto here this is an all stainless steel case build and you've got a really good mix of brush and polish finishing here all over the watch case i really like the fact that the bezel the top of the bezel here is brush circular brushing the top of the lux or the top of the watch case here is also brush although i'm not so impressed by the level of brushing okay the rest of the watch though the case side it is fully polished all right, these are fully polished case size. Uh, I apologize for the fingerprints and the smart jewelry. And the side of the bezel has got a really nice chamfer, which is high polished. But overall, I would say the level of finishing, the brushing and the polishing, I think it is just about decent. I also noticed that this watch here is really strange because it is totally flat. Okay, so apart from this little bit of a down curve here, the rest of the watch, the case back is entirely flat. All right, so the entire case back here is flat and I think this is going to affect the wearability. So here is this wrist shot, you can see what I was talking about earlier on. All right, there's a bit of luck protrusion, just a little bit, okay? Not so much because of the long L to L distance. This is caused by the fact that the case back is totally flat. And as a result, you are seeing that this watch Let's have a bit of luck overhang here. Yeah, I'm not so uh, excited over this look here, but overall, I think it really fits my wrist well. Over here, my wrist at 17 cm and 6 and 3 quarter inch. I think it pulls off the look well, and I say overall, the wearing experience is still positive. And in terms of dial design, I would say this watch is very simple. <laughs> Nothing really stands out from the dial design. Okay, so due to the fact that this watch here is so thin, they have no space for a second hand, right? This is understandable. Most ultra thin watches, they don't have space for a second hand at the hand stack. Okay, so this one here, very minimal dial design. But we've seen this kind of watch design in almost all price points, uh, different brands, different price points, ranging from the cheap fashion brands to the mid range Swiss brands, Swiss meat brands, and to the very high end. All right, luxurious brands. You're getting this kind of design all the time, all right? There's no identity. There's nothing special about this kind of design. Just stick markers, applied markers in this case. Nicely done, but overall, I would say the dial design here is rather bland. But just take a look at this dial here, all right? So the dial here, the texturing seems to be the redeeming factor. The texturing on this dial here is just amazing. And perhaps due to the lack of minutes marker over here all right i think the accuracy or accuracy in terms of time setting more or less suffers so you obviously can't set time or you cannot tell time to the exact minute because we are only looking at five minutes increment on the dial here so not a problem again when you're wearing such a watch uh, it is likely to be a less spotty event and you probably don't need the level of precision when it comes to timekeeping. And besides the 21 millimeter luck width over here, I'm not a big fan of this strap. I think uh, in time to come, if I do keep this watch, I will be shopping for a new strap, most likely a custom made because at 21 millimeters, you need to find a really good strap with a flat profile and one that tapers properly to make this suit the watch. All right, and suit the style that the watch is in. So here's another ratio before we sum up this video here. I truly think that this watch will benefit if it was about two millimeters smaller. All right, because for a style like this, if you want the vintage classy look, it shouldn't be overly big. I think the case size is fine, but the fact that it's got such a big dial, you do want to make the overall dimensions a little bit smaller to make it suit the overall look and style. So there you have it. That was my full review of the Citizen Stiletto AR 3070. I think this watch here is really interesting, largely due to this ultra thin case at under 5 millimeters. I think, you know, this one here is going to be a conversation starter and it's such a fun watch to have because, you know, these days uh, people are gravitating towards smaller, thinner, and more elegant styles of watch. So, what it needs is probably a nicer strap. So, this is Andy in Singapore. All right, together with George, together with Pixie and their friends. We're going to see you next week for more watch videos. Bye-bye.